Hey everybody, welcome back to Off-Road Independence Season 3, Episode 2. My name is Eric McGrew, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the EDC brakes again. You guys have probably seen on my uh, videos and things like that that I love the EVC Stage 5 upgrade for the um, rotor and brake combo that I have here on my 2001 or 3rd Gen Toyota 4Runner. Now, originally, honestly speaking, I was going to go over a different topic that included these brakes, and I'll still do that, but today, um, I, got a, I got a little bit of a surprise, so well, let's go over that. Um, in, in reality, what happened for me is that the brakes I have here, the brake pads I have, are the, I want to say they are the green stuff brake pads that come with the EVC stage 5 brake kit and one side of them the driver or the outside of the rotors the brake pads have really 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 been worn off whereas the inside still have a little bit of meat now I checked these just a week ago and my outside brake pad looked about twice as thick as this I don't know if you guys can see that so it looked about twice as thick as that. Now, this week, yesterday in fact, I heard a very awful scraping sound and I find this here. If you can see that, there is absolutely no meat on that brake shoe or yeah, that brake pad I should say. So you can see this one still has about 3 sixteenths. This one has absolutely nothing. and what it did is it actually started grinding a little bit on my rotor now here's the um that may sound bad and it really isn't great that it did that but here's the very very interesting thing so until yesterday when evidently this brake pad material completely was demolished and no longer existed because now it's rubbing on the backing plate material and the compound that holds the brake pad um, compound onto the, you know, the shoe piece that sits in your uh, caliper, it stopped like normal. Now I, I had feeling I had been feeling my brake pedal go a little long because they were getting smaller and they were wearing through, and I thought that there would be some warning button or something. Evidently, there might have been warning buttons like these here but they didn't make much noise, I didn't hear them at all, and that's without me running my radio. So that is kind of a con to these. Um, unless you check them really, really frequently as they start to get very low, then you may not notice that they are going away. The cool thing is, is that they lasted and stopped just like they always had, all the way down to the period of when there was no more brake pad. I mean, none. So that is pretty impressive. Now. The downside to that being the case, of course, is that my uh, rotor is a little jacked up, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. It doesn't look like it's compromised. It didn't take too much material off the rotor itself, so I don't have to swap them out. And this is all after having used these brake pads and this rotor set for two years without having to touch them. They're not warped at all. These rotors are still like totally straight. I don't feel any any kind of variance in in them having gotten hot and fatigued and and warping and this is with me like off-roading in serious downhill areas and going driving highway speeds of 75 miles an hour or 65 miles an hour plus over the passes and back multiple times from the western slope to Colorado I mean to Denver and then I've gone all the way out to Moab and I've done a bunch of stuff out in Moab and we drove all the way to Vegas and when you're going to Vegas from here, there's a whole bunch of downhill. I mean, we, we've driven this truck um, twice out to Georgia since we had it, uh, had these brakes on there and I carry a 7,000 pound trailer like weekly, well more than weekly, multiple times a week with this truck. And these, these rotors are in awesome shape still, and the brake pads, after two years, finally got to a point where they actually rubbed through, and I couldn't even tell the brake pads were getting low. They, the stopping power was not affected at all, 
until one of the brake shoes or brake pads, I, guess, I don't know what they're called, the back of the brake pad was had lost all its compound and it was metal on metal. So that, in my opinion, is super impressive. I cannot tell you how much this upgrade has like saved me time and money. I haven't touched these brakes other than inspecting them in two years with all this going on. And that's pretty impressive for me. Um, when we first moved out here, I was changing these brake pads like every four months and the rotors were warping and it was a nightmare on this truck just because the, the junk replacement parts that they had at the um, local auto parts store just weren't up to standard. They, they, they just didn't do the job out here. But man, I can tell you these things, they're, they're nice. I'm, I'm super stoked to have them. Um, so I'll order some more brake pads. For the moment, I am throwing, where are they at? I am throwing some of these cheap Duralast on here just because I need brakes in the meantime. I've got to use this truck for work right now and that kind of stuff. Um, so an EVC stage five kit for this truck in particular is 500 bucks. I don't know what it is for other vehicles because I haven't priced it out, haven't put it on there. That being said, in my opinion, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Um, you should at least investigate it. Check how much you've been using, you know, up money for other kinds of repairs on your brakes and stuff at the dealership or, you know, the shop or whatever, and then evaluate this. And I, I pretty sure if you haul at all, because the stage five for this truck isn't like a sport setup. It is primarily a towing package, but man, I cannot believe how nice these things, well, not these, these are Duralast, but how nice these things are. Um, yeah, totally, totally worth it. There, there's a funky break-in period you have to do with these when you put the fi stage five on. I will say that that's a bit of a con to me because you have to seat them just right and all this stuff. Um, and, and if you don't, I have heard some stories that they wear really unevenly and stuff, but these things are wearing super flat, super even. I'm, I, I, I'm really happy with that. Um, and they've lasted two years. I just, I really cannot believe it. I'm pretty impressed. I, I really am. So I'll be ordering me more of those. Until then, I'm putting on these cheap pads just to get the truck operational again and get going on the road, keep my tree service stuff going and, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, to say there aren't any cons to these brake pads and this brake system would be a lie. Um, so let's go over the cons real quick. Um, well, let me finish the pros, I guess. I've done this before, but I'll, I'll do a rehash with you guys seeing what's going on here. So the, the pros are that they stop phenomenally well, like really aggressively well. Um, even towing a 7,000 pound trailer, well, a 7,700 pound trailer, no problem stopping ever. That compared with my Goodyear Duratrac tires have been like the best combo I could put on this truck so far. And then the, um, the durability of them, just how long they last has been really nice. The, the sound quality, no screeching, no squawking, nothing like that, just smooth. And, and the pedal feel is super responsive. It's super smooth. It's just really good. Now, the cons to these are that they are 500 bucks for the, the kit, um, just for the two front rotors and the pads. That's it, and it's $500. So that is a deep pocket purchase for something like this for most people. Um, there, of course, are more expensive brake kits out on the market for different kinds of cars, like big brake kits and stuff. And potentially, I've never tried it, but I know you can do like the Tundra upgrade on this, and it would run you about $380, I think, for the Tundra rotors, calipers, or maybe it's 450 bucks for the Tundra rotors and calipers and pads, and they're a bigger rotor and bigger calipers and everything. It's a pretty simple bolt-on kit from what I've read, and there's just a little bit of modification to the dust shield. Other than that, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. But I don't know that they would stop this well. It really is crazy to me to think that the Tundra upgrade OEM could stop as well as these EVC Stage 5. Now, that being said, 
I almost would love to go get a Tundra caliper and um, set it up and then get the Tundra Stage 5 kit from EBC. But when these rotors are in such good shape, I don't know how I could justify it. I mean, I I don't know when these rotors are going to go out. The, they're like really, really in good shape still. The back side where the brake pad didn't um, didn't wear through is still as smooth as smooth can be. It's just the front side that's a little jacked up. And um, so the other con to these for sure is that they leave a ton, a ton of dust on your on your wheels. Um, you've probably seen the photos in my Instagram. It's horrible. I don't even care about cleaning them anymore, honestly, to some degree, because within a week they're just covered again. Um, so that's a challenge for sure. If you like a show car, then yeah, these may not be for you because they're super, super soft. That being said, um, I don't remember all the colors, but I know EBC has green stuff, yellow stuff, and maybe blue stuff pads that are differing varies of aggressiveness and cleanliness. So you might be able to get these rotors and those pad, different grades of pads if you talk to Summit Racing where I bought these or uh, anywhere that sells EBC or EBC themselves, they might be able to give you a better indication of how to manage that so it's a little bit less um, dirty on your wheels. Um, and then the third con definitely to these is not having a clear warning as to when your pad is running out. Like I said, I just checked these like a month ago and for some reason this outside one lost a quarter inch more of material than the passenger one or maybe, I don't know, that's not even a quarter, like, an, yeah, three sixteenths. It lost a 3 16th of material faster than the inside one, which I know they don't always wear evenly, so that's not the problem. But it lost it within like two and a half, three weeks, and um, which is all the dust on the wheels for sure. But that was a bit disappointing because I didn't know it was happening when it was happening. So that's a bit frustrating, but I um, hope that kind of gives you guys an idea of what's going on with the EBC kit. Um, I really, really do like it. I think that if you're into better stopping performance for your 4Runner, definitely check it out. Um, if you have the money for an upgrade, it's definitely one of my favorite upgrades to the truck so far. And, you know, I, I can't complain about it as of yet, other than the few cons that I mentioned, which aren't deal breakers, really. So, um, this is a little bit shorter of an episode because I wanted to really highlight that particular product. Don't forget that you guys can continue to see my videos like this one on uh, my YouTube channel, of course. But the same content in audio form will be on anchor.fm forward slash ORDIP. And I'd love to I'd love to have some comments from you guys about what upgrades you like, what upgrades you're thinking about doing. Um, even what upgrades you would like me to do in the future looking at this. Uh, I don't know when I'll get around to them, but I'll try. And if you go to anchor.fm forward slash ORDIP, you can even leave me a audio recording message, like a voicemail basically, right there. And I can include it in my podcast if you want to be included in anything like that. So, you know, I really appreciate you guys taking a little bit of time out of your life to watch these videos and see what's going on with me. I'm nobody special. I know that I, I, I'm glad that you guys are just interested in what I'm doing and I hope I can help you guys out to some degree as well. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you guys in the next one and hope to get you as a listener on my podcast as well. Have a good day.